decoy. A decoy is a chess tactic used to lure an opponent's piece away from its current position, typically where it's defending something important. This can be done for various reasons, but usually it is to open up an opportunity to capture a more valuable piece, de uh, deliver a check or even checkmate the king. In this position, white is threatening checkmate from f7, but the black queen is defending. So white moves his bishop to g7, deflecting his queen to move, and then queen takes on g7. Then white simply delivers a checkmate from g f7. In this example, uh, white takes the bishop on d8, deflecting his king to move on d8, uh, removing the defense from f7 square, and then we simply bring our knight to f7 check, and wh wherever he moves, we are going to take his queen next. Desperado. A desperado piece is a piece that is already doomed to be captured, but can take an enemy piece or damage the opponent's position before being captured. In this position, the rook is completely trapped, so he might take the bishop on g5, smothering. Smothering involves uh, sacrificing the material to force the opponent's pieces to block the king's escape. In this position, white moves his queen to g8. The only option is to take with this rook and he blocks uh, his escape. So in the next move, we can simply deliver checkmate by moving our knight to f7. Fork. In chess, a fork is a tactic where a single piece attacks multiple enemy pieces simultaneously. The attacking piece is known as the forking piece and the attack piece are called the fork piece. Fork are also called double attacks. This is the example of knight fork and this is the example of bishop fork and this is the example of king fork. And finally, this is the example of a pawn fork. Overloading. Uh, overloading occurs in a chess when a player assigns a piece to many defensive duties at once and the piece cannot execute them properly. In this position, uh, White's queen is overloading because uh, he is defending his uh, knight and rook at the same time. So he can take his knight simply, he can't take back because we are going to deliver checkmate in the next move. And again, in this example, uh, White's bishop is overloading here because this bishop has to uh, defend f1 and d1 at the same time. So we can simply deliver a check by moving our rook on d1 and then he has to take. And again, we are going to give him a check by moving our queen to f7 and simply we are going to deliver checkmate in the next move, discover attack. A discover attack is a chess tactic that can occur when a player moves a piece to reveal an attack by another piece. The move can create a double attack, two threat is one, or a check known as a discover check. Discover attacks are effective because the defender often cannot meet both threats simultaneously, which means usually the attacker will gain some material. In this position, White can simply move his bishop to c4 by delivering check and threatening his queen to take and black has to defend his king and in the next move uh, white can simply win the queen and eventually win the game again in this example white can move his uh, knight and this can also uh, discover or uh, attack uh, to the black queen and black queen has to take and he has simply win the queen under promotion under promotion is a tactic in which the promoting pawn can be a knight, rook or bishop instead of promoting to queen. This surprising move is a game changer often used to prevent stalemate and achieve specific tactics not possible with the queen. In this position, white is going to promote his pawn to rook. Why? Because if he promotes his pawn to queen, then it gives a check from here. And then we have to take, and this is stalemate. So now whatever the black does, white is going to deliver a checkmate simply in the next move here. And again in this situation, black is going to promote his pawn to a knight and forking the king and king and queen at the same time. 
X-ray. An X-ray attack in chess is a tactic where a piece indirectly controls a square through an enemy piece, like seeing through it with X-ray vision. It can be used for either offense or defense. In this position, white is threatening checkmate. But if we take the rook on e8, then he can simply take back with his queen. So, first we move our queen to f8, delivering check. And the only option is to take with this rook. And then we can simply deliver our checkmate. In this situation, white's queen is accessing black's bishop. So, uh, white can simply take the bishop on d6 by moving his rook. If it takes with use this queen, then he simply loses his queen. Clearance In chess, clearance refers to a tactical uh, concept specifically used in sacrifices. It involves giving up some of your materials to open up some attacks. In this position, black gives his uh, light squared bishop to open an attack on breakthrough. Pawn breakthrough is a super powerful tactic in the end game in which a player can sacrifice multiple pawns to create an unstoppable past pawns. In this position, white sacrifices his first pawn and then black takes and again white is gonna sacrifice another pawn to create an unstoppable past pawn. Pin. In chess, a pin is like a sneak attack. You threaten two pieces with one move but if your opponent moves the first piece to protect the other uh, something more valuable gets exposed this forces them to keep that piece stuck and uh, limiting their moves in this position black's king and queen are at the same diagonal so white can simply pin by moving his bishop to b3 and now black is going to lose his queen and eventually lose the game and again in this position, uh, white is threatening a fork uh, by his knight, but not really, because uh, black can simply pin his knight by moving his uh, rook to d8. And now whatever uh, the white does, black can simply win the knight skewer. In chess, a skewer is a tactic that involves uh, attacking two pieces in a line similar to pin but with the more valuable piece in front of the less valuable piece. The opponent must move the more valuable piece to avoid being captured exposing the less valuable piece which can then be captured. In this example black is simply going to promote his pawn uh, which skewer is uh, the black uh, sorry skewers the uh, whites uh, king and queen at the same time so in the next move uh, black is simply going to win the uh, opponent's uh, opponent's queen here and again in this position why it can simply move this bishop to b5 attacking the queen and rook at the same time so black has to move his queen and in the next move white is simply going to win the rook 